Everybody, good evening. Welcome to the Now Milwaukee. I'm Steve Shamraz. This was some tough news to wake up to this morning. The air and water show this year has been canceled. It's going to cost the city nearly one and a half million dollars this summer, and we're going to miss sites like this over the lakefront. For some, though, it's more than just a show. It's a chance for families to enjoy a special weekend together, and it's a big loss for veterans. Veterans are always special guests at this event. We've got Casey Geraldo here now. You talked with one of them who's pretty disappointed that this isn't going to happen this I summer. I did. It's a big bummer for her. Lori Martin tells all her friends and family about the air show, and her daughter was even going to visit this summer, and now she's just really bummed out that it won't be here. The air and water show brings Milwaukee a few of the loudest days of the year. But this year, it may be an extra quiet summer. The 2016 show has been canceled and postponed until 2017. I really was hurt to see that the air show wasn't going to be this year. Navy veteran Lori Martin was already looking forward to the show. It makes me feel really proud to see that. Um, makes me proud to be a veteran. Her daughter even planned to visit. My daughter from Florida was going to come up. To, to come and see the air show because she's never been to an air show. Now they'll have to find something else to do, which Visit Milwaukee says shouldn't be a problem. Summer weekends in Milwaukee are always very busy, but losing an event like that for this summer will be very hard to replace. With nearly 400,000 people showing up for the show, it's a big hit to profits for Milwaukee tourism. It's about 1.4 million in total economic impact. That's $1.4 million Milwaukee won't see this year because of scheduling conflicts and a lack of funding. They've always done very well uh, kind of building a broad sponsor base, but never really got to the point where they had enough money to cover all the costs of the air and water show. And with the jet teams busy, unable to make schedules work, it's a disappointing loss for Martin. I understand that it takes money for the air show you know, and different sponsors to sponsor the air show, but still as a veteran, I look forward to the to the air show. Milwaukee County Parks tells me the dates were available for the air and water show on their end, but the show was unable to coordinate with performers, and that's where the scheduling conflicts came from. Visit Milwaukee says they hope to make up the business with the many other things Milwaukee hosts over the summer, and the show is scheduled for July of 2017. It's tough to see this happen because they took steps just a couple years ago to move the air and water show later into the summer because it was canceled for really dense fog once. Sure. So they've done everything they can to make this work and conflicts. Well, and it's tough because there are so many other things that are already scheduled that they can't, they have to work around. Right. So then finding a day that works becomes the trick. Casey, thank you.